Good day, my name is Frank Loy R. Patigas from BSN 3B and I'm going to demonstrate the uh, cardiovascular assessment. For the preparation, assemble equipment and supplies. The equipment needed are ruler with centimeter, marking pen, stethoscope with bell and diaphragm, alcohol swab to clean ear and end pieces. For the procedure, introduce self, Identify the patient by asking name and date of birth. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why it is necessary, and how the client can cooperate. Wash hands and observe other appropriate infection control procedures and provide for client privacy. Um, sir, I'm Frank Loy Patigas, a student nurse at UNESCOS. And I'm um, uh, going to um, uh, assess the uh, cardiovascular and Pwede niyo mo ma-state yung name, sir. Ako si Arne Lopez, 22 years old. Determine client's history of the following. Family history of incidents and age of heart disease, high cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, stroke, obesity, congenital heart disease, arterial disease, hypertension, and rheumatic fever. Client's past history of rheumatic fever, heart murmur, heart attack, varicosities or heart failure. Present symptoms indicative of heart disease, presence of diseases that affect heart, and lifestyle habits that are risk factors for cardiac disease. Um, sir, sa mga gina gi sorte, um, na kay mga past history ato. Measure blood pressure. Take blood pressure to detect actual or potential orthostatic hypotension and therefore the risk for falling. Have the client lie down for 5 minutes. Take the pulse and blood pressure and pulse after client and sitting and again at 1 minute after client stands. Measure activity tolerance. Evaluate either by reviewing results of stress testing or by observing the client's ability to move from a sitting to a standing position or to flex and extend fingers rapidly. Next, Determine adequacy of blood flow by palpating the arterial pulses in all locations. Carotid, brachial, radial, popliteal, posterior tibial, and dorsalis pedis for strength and quality.
Auscultate the carotid, abdominal, and femoral arteries. Use the bell of the stethoscope to listen for bleeds. <laughs> Next, evaluate arterial and venous sufficiency of extremities. Elevate the legs above the level of the heart and observe color, temperature, size of the legs, and skin integrity. Inspect and palpate veins while client is standing. Inspect and palpate the precordium. Lastly, auscultate heart sounds. Thank the patient for cooperating. Uh, thank you, sir, for the cooperation of this assessment. Do aftercare to the patient if unable to help self. Or ask patient to do aftercare. If able, ensure patient is in a comfortable position. Do hand hygiene. Document findings to the patient's record.